Pod Sanctioner, episode 151, the Our Campaign Show, for the week of March 4th, 2008. See you at the party, Richter! Welcome to Podtacular, the unofficial Halo Universe podcast. You're about to hear what the Halo Nation had to say about this week's topic at Podtacular.com to help you dominate at Halo. So strap on your Spartan armor and grab a battle rifle, because it's time to finish the fight. It's coming. Welcome back to another episode of Pod Tech, the unofficial Halo Universe podcast. I'm Fumo Jai. I'm JVG. And I'm SOG Frubin. All right. Thank you for joining us there, Frubin. No problem, man. So, Frubin, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and well, what you're up to now, nowadays. Uh, well, I'm from Canada, but online I'm from a little neck of the woods called uh, Hardcore Christian Gamer, and uh, that awesome. is a Christian gaming clan. And, um, yeah, pretty much we just try to keep it clean and... You know, just a really all-around good gaming community. Oh, nice. nice. How did you guys come up with that? I mean, I mean, it's not unusual to play with Christian people and, well, you know, and video games. I, I, I know quite a few. But how did you guys get together to form the, the website and the client? Well, I joined in a bit late. I think I just joined this past year. But uh, they've been going for a while. They started out as just a regular gaming clan. And eventually just grew into a website, and they had a podcast, and uh, this is about as far as it's come to here. And then, yeah, we've we've got to uh, about uh, almost 700 members now, so we're growing steady. Awesome. That's great. Nice. Well, I can tell you're from Canada, the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh they, they, they rag on me for that all the time. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> What's the bis- biggest obstacle you guys face when, when going online with uh, the general public? Or do you avoid uh, um, aiming against other, well, the general crowd? I like to call them. Well, usually we we all we, we always get the the uh, the regular Xbox Live crowd. You know what I'm talking about, and, mm-hmm. and oh, yes. very well. It, that's basically what we try to stay stray away from. But no matter what, you're going to get it. So uh, I don't want to tell you about a little thing. It's uh, it's a little magic thing. It's called the mute button, <laughs> and you find people like that. And uh, you actually you can actually shut off their voice. Yes, it and, actually uh, works well. What's this? Who do uh, you say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> talking about. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and uh, nice. So where can we find the website? Uh, it's at hardcorechristiangamer.com. And is that where you can find the podcast as well? Uh, you can uh, yeah, you can find it there, or even search it up on iTunes as uh, the Hardcore Christian Gamer Podcast. They got a pretty awesome. rocking podcast, man. They've been uh, doing really well on iTunes, actually. So, mm-hmm. yeah. oh yeah, I mean, uh, we've been getting a lot of publicity soon, uh, even from like sarcastic people, like Sarcastic Gamer, and they've really helped us out a lot. They've helped us really grow. Yes, nice. yes, and uh, I actually, I actually know for a fact that you had uh, my buddy Josh, uh, aka Crash, oh yeah, Gamers Garage on a few times. Oh yeah, he's always That's... talking about you guys. <laughs> Sweet. So. Yes, and it's step in the right direction. So, how do people mm-hmm. uh, join in as as part of the clan or or group they have over there to be able to play with other uh, Christian gamers? Well, basically, there's no application process. You just go to the forum, sign up, write a little introduction about yourself, uh, send some friend requests, and basically you're in. You're playing with uh, SOG. Oh, nice. Awesome. What so does what? Uh, SOG oh, okay, stand sorry, for? Go. You probably gonna ask the questions S- of it. Uh, well, SOG is our clan name, so uh, and it's it stands for Sons of God. Cool. And okay. Yeah. Now I was going to actually ask you, how can one get booted from the client? Well, there was an instance not too long ago, uh, who will uh, remain nameless, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and well, basically he was just bad mouthing uh, the, the people in the clan. He was bad mouthing the leaders, and uh, well, eventually he just got removed from all the friends list and just got the boot. Okay. Mm. Well, hey, Fair you enough. do the wrong thing, you pay <laughs> well, the just, consequence. Just keep your. Uh, your content G-rated, I guess. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> awesome. Well, I mean, I'm sure you guys are going to do do very well, and uh, make sure everybody goes to the website and listens to the podcast. At the end of the show, Mr. <laughs> Fubin will uh, announce where we can find all that again. Yeah. Yep. Well, cool, man. Welcome to the show. So, what do we got in store for everybody today, Fumo? 
Well, today is the ARC campaign show, where we're going to be going through everything about how to do well on the level of the ARC, right after Floodgate, uh, where there's a lot of vehicular action going on. There's the first time you get on the installation double O over at the ARC, and you're able to go all the way through to the um, cartographer and to be able to unlock the secrets there. So we're going to talk all about how to do well in campaign scoring, how to do, get skulls, um, how to just you know effectively go through on legendary, all that good stuff. And a lot of people sent in some really good tips here. So yes, they did. And now uh, we're going to get started here mm -hmm. with a cool cucumber. It says tally ho, pot stack homies. I have information on both skulls for you. The first skull, which is gold, is called famine. It reduces ammo by 50% on every weapon. When you encounter two grunts, dr uh, two grunt-driven ghosts, look above. There is an overhang. Get there. And on the last triangle hanging out is the Famine Skull. A good use of grenade jumping is recommended to get this uh, two-time multiplayer skull. The second skull, which is silver, is called Cowbell. It significantly cr increases the explosions of rocket fuel rods, nades, etc. To get this, follow my instructions. Wow. All right. Very, very demanding. When you defeat <laughs> the Scarab, <laughs> there is a small structure in the area. Rate it with a friend or two and stock up on grab lifts. When you raid the larger structure, look up at the point. There will be many glasses ca uh, glass cases platforms, glass case platforms on top of each other. Put two grav lifts on one another to get to the top glass platform. There holds the famine skull. Hmm. He also finishes it off with keep on fragging arbiter, teabag, <laughs> teabagging nubkicks who go on an expedition for the very decisive Nene. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming he means elusive Nene. Because <laughs> Nene is, an, it is elusive and uh, no one has been able Do, to find him. It's like, where in the world is Carmen San Diego, man? Where in the world is Nene? <laughs> <laughs> Should make a game on that. That'd be awesome. It's No, but we can title it Where the Flock is Nene. <laughs> I think it has a nice ring to it. And where hey, is need a, you know, a squirrel? <laughs> you need a book where that's like kind of like Where's Waldo that says Where's Nene? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to like point him out in the book. That'd be cool. <laughs> Donde eres, Nene? <laughs> there's like, there's like a huge like, there's like ten thousand yetis in the middle of the thing. You have to pick out Nene from all the yetis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh Great. man! With all those yetis, there has to be yeti manure. So oh, yeti's yeah. gonna be in there somewhere. <laughs> really nice. The Yeti convention is in town. Why did I bring up Yeti abstract? Anyway, <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, uh, Cool Cucumber, for that submission. I actually haven't found uh, the second one in this one yet. Second skull, to be uh, um, hmm. precise. Well, cool. Okay, well, Spartan77 writes in saying, uh, got a few tips for the arc level. The following are for split screen play. When you start the level and get right before the hill to snipe, call out what target you're getting. Later on, when you get to the crash pelican, pick up rockets and use them all on the incoming prowlers, but save two rounds. Give the rocket to one of the marines and load them up on a mongoose. A little farther on the way, by the other crash ship, flip over the hog and have a player drive. The other on the gun and the rocket guy in the side. This makes you a ho your hog a killing machine. Kill and enjoy, okay. <laughs> Fast forward to the scarab part. This is a weird ramp building, and under it there are some fuel rods. But the tricky part is grunts are already using them. What I do is sneak around one side and assassinate the first one and take his gun, and snipe the other one. I use the fuel rod on the later brutes and the other bad guys. Keep up the good work, and shout out to a Mexican, AIDS SGA, and Sean Doolin. Keep on frogging anus armor. <laughs> Will do. <laughs> <laughs> Those awesome. yetis need that, man, to uh, keep the place smelling oh, good. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> Especially when, you, when you're when you playing Where's Nene. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, Duststorm says, For anyone looking for the headshot honcho achievement, this is the map for you. After you beat the first section of jackals, grunts, and brutes, I'd suggest pulling your sniper and un unloading headshots to the grunts, brutes, grunts and brutes in your hand in your second initial encounter with them. The place where the anti-air gun is. I don't know what that is. Now for those who know me, I like the terminals, so if you're having a hard time finding them, here's a quick guide. The first one is in the room and to the left, of, and to the left through the doors. The room is after the anti-air gun and before the place where, where the longsword comes crashing down. 
The second one is where you can activate the light bridge and to let the Marines cross before the big battle with the many wraiths and the scarab. If you look at the switch straight behind you, use the second one. The last one on the level is just after the room of sleeping grunts and the brute talking to himself. After you take them out, go down the long hallway after you come out. The terminal is underneath you in a room. You may even see Guilty Spark go in there if you kill off some grunts and then come into the terminal. Terminal. <laughs> terminal. Ah. Terminal. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my tips for the arc. Keep on fragging trucks. Keep it original. Nice. Will do. All right. We have one from Uzumaki, and he spelled it out for us. So thank you for that one. It says, hey, Potacular, it's Uzumaki. Uh, 15, and uh, with some tips for the ARC campaign level. When you reach the first area, snipe off the brutes with your sniper rifle and jump down and take out the grunts and jackals after the area is clear. Go up the lift onto the platform and rip off a plasma turret, then proceed through the tunnel. Once you get to the second area, drop off the turret and snipe off the jackals on the anti-air gun, then proceed to snipe the brutes and BR. And be all the grunts when the hunters show up. Pick up the turret and move into the high ground and let them have it. it says, uh, try to focus on one at a time. Once you're out of ammo, retreat to the first area and get another turret. This helps save ammo that you will need later. When the hunters are dead, pick up a carbine from the fallen jackal. By this time, the commander tells you to hurry up and find the LZ head. Uh, head through the door. Pick, up, uh, pick off the brutes and grunts. After they are down, two problems will show up. Uh, snipe them, snipe the drivers, and get and get into the driver's seat. If you're playing alone, get a marine and a turret. They're usually more accurate than you are. It says note: there is a rocket launcher near the Pelican. If you uh, want to pick it up, proceed through the vehicles. Uh, wait, proceed through the vehicles. When you drop off the ledge, or well, what's this? Okay, leading towards the doorway. Hop out of the prowler. Leave your marine there. Then hop into the chopper located next to the covey ammo container filled with brute shots. Head into the valley and engage in, in, uh, and engage the other choppers. Drive up and take out the brutes and grunts, but be careful. Two grunts have fuel rod cannons, which will, which will kill your chopper quickly. Take them out. Uh, trade your sniper rifle for a fuel rod cannon. Hop back into your chopper and take out the brutes, leading to the door. Um, Leading to the doorway, hop out of the chopper and use the FRC to take out uh, to take out the shades. Okay, FRC. Uh, FRC. What FRC? exactly is the FRC? Yeah, I thought it was just me. Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, flapping <laughs> red chili. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> yes, I've never heard that uh, terminology uh, used for any weapon, but um, yeah, use it. <laughs> So he uh, says, after frog the area candles? is clear. <laughs> <laughs> <That's so good. laughs> frog rolling. <laughs> oh, man. After the area is clear, get on your chopper. Because of the chopper. And head back to your <laughs> prowler and then turn to your right. There will be two ghosts that attack you there. Try not to destroy them as you will need a ghost later. He says, note, Famine Skull is located here. But I won't go into it just yet. Once you're clear... Once you clear out the enemies, go back, hop onto the ghost, proceed through the tunnels, and you will see a platform on your left and a wraith on your right. Now, stay on the ghost and stay in the cave so the wraith can't hit you or pour plasma into the... Into the okay, and you... Whoa, whoa, he's all over the place here. Sorry about that. So, all right, let me... Uh, sooner or later, the wraith will, will explode and the brutes on your left will retreat. Drive into the valley and destroy the ghost that ambush you. Now you have to take out two AA wraiths. Be careful, as if uh, you are on your ghost. They will fire at you, as will brutes in the cave. I recommend getting out of the ghost and remove the brutes and grunts. Then use the FRC again. There it goes. Uh, I think it's to eliminate fuel, the fuel rod cannon. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's Brain freeze. Bit. Yeah. It says P.S. For the meta game, use the following skulls and you will get through fine on normal. Tough luck, catch, fog. T-Storm, and Mystic. Also, if you use a vehicle and have a Marine on the turret, you will get points for his kills. Oh, that's nice. Cool. Yeah. P.S.S. If you have the uh, that would have been your day. IWH B.U.I.D. skull, I'm sure there's a... Uh, I always mispronounce it. Okay, if you have that skull, the first hunter um, encounter... Whoa, 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 whoa. After the first hunter encounter, a Marine will say, I saw my whole life flash before my eyes. It sucked. 
Wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> and he also goes into another PSSS about how to get the skulls. And uh, we covered that earlier with a cool cucumber. Mm-hmm. So we'll cut it off there. But nonetheless, thank you. And he says, that's all I got. Sorry. It was so long. Keep on fragging trucks. Yeah. He does say that thank the you. cowbell skull is, uh, is after the scarab battle, there's a building to the left where the scarab was. And go in mm-hmm. there. And they get a gravel. Yeah, so it's it's yeah. close to there. So just so we know where it is, not just where the two grunts coming at you are. Because that could be anywhere. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Thank you, Dave. It was McKee. Thank you for that detailed explanation. Yes, very detailed. <laughs> Muy detailed. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you for the uh, the blueprint of the level. <laughs> and the FRC, of course. Um, I can do it. <laughs> on to, let's see. Am, am I next? Getting mixed up here. Yes, brother. Okay. On to the bounties, he says. Hello, Podtakalogic. It's your money collector, the bounties. This is a very long mission, so I'm just going to give tips for certain parts of the level. At the beginning, I can't give any tips other than snipe. You will get to a part where you see a longsword about to crash and a pelican on the ground. Slightly before that, you go into a door on the left, and there is the first terminal. At the pelican part, snipe some brutes and grab the rocket launcher from the falling pelican and destroy the prowlers coming to your position. Okay, jump forward to the anti-air wraith part. If you have a chopper, you can just strafe back and forth, shooting your cannons from a distance, or shoot off the guns, the gunners and melee the, drive, the driver and the wraiths. Then, after you destroy the wraiths, grab a tank from in amber clad and take out uh, the ghosts and hunters coming to attack you. After you destroy them, you go through a tunnel and you'll see a phantom, which you can destroy easily with your scorpion. Jump forward again. When the oracle unlocks the door to the inside place, you come to a place where you have to hit a button and to, hit a button to open a door. And then after you hit a button to you hit the button, a terminal right behind you will be usable. Okay, oh, I didn't know that. Um, jump forward again. When the scarab comes, you should be able to hit its legs with a scorpion and either board it, uh, or you can hit the behind the scarab and knock the anus <laughs> armor off it, and then shoot its shield to keep it uh, to kill it. Jeez, my English is pronunciation is getting better and better. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, part after this, uh, keep your eye out for a room under the ramp uh, for the third terminal. Then you literally just shoot everything from a distance with the carbine BR, and you should be cool. Hope this helps. The bounties has signed off. Okay, so uh, was is there three terminals on this level, or is there more? Hmm. Do you guys know? I don't, don't really remember. I don't, yeah, I don't remember either. It sounds like he's saying there's at least three. Um, I mean, is but there's some on other levels too, right? Or is it just this level? Oh, there's yeah, there's some. There's at least two on Cortana. I know that. Oh, okay. See, so, I, I've only gotten one, so I mean, I've never really been. I've never really caught up mm-hmm. with all terms. Uh, so that's cool though. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, yep. Thanks, bounties. Good stuff. <laughs> all right, Debenny says some tips for the arc: acts of random kindness. Mm. If you're playing on Legendary, when you find the hunters that have been dropped off by the sh- dropship, you may find you run out of BR and sniper ammo real quick. You can run back and grab some Covenant ammo, or you can jump down from your perch to the area below where the hunters are causing havoc. You can do wield a pair of plasma pistols and charge up a full shot. Get as close as you can to the hunters and f- b- fire both shots. The, hun- <laughs> the hunter you shot at will kind of freeze for a moment. You give him a quick punch and jump. He will hit you. Instead of dying, you will fly up really high and survive. If you do this again and again, you'll eventually beat down a hunter. You get crazy meta points for this. Keep on fragging those weird eggnog cartons. Oh, <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> he must have had a bad experience with eggnog during the holidays. I hate eggnog. It's evil. Uh, My yeah. eggnog was spiked. <laughs> Push you um, eggnog. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me the runs. <laughs> All right. I mean, oh, that's, sorry, brother. Got that's cool though with the melees on the uh, <laughs> on the hunters. I didn't realize that gave you like crazy meta points and stuff. That's awesome. Well, I've never tried meleeing a hunter. I can't usually get close enough before it kills me. Yeah, usually, hmm. usually they're just like, "What well, is this fly hitting me?" Bam. <laughs> well, well, some people actually did get close to hunters and whacked them in the buttocks a few times. <laughs> <laughs> In the hindquarters. <laughs> yeah, there began the anus armor. Uh, yes. Yeah. All right. So, him in the RPG. Camper. Gluteus Maximus. No. <laughs> Hunter Maximus. 
<laughs> RPG Cam first says, During this whole level, one thing is necessary. Grab heavy weapons. This entire level is basically all vehicles. There are wraiths, ghosts, choppers, tanks, hogs, mongoose, mongoose, whatever you want to call them. Up the wazoo in this level. Up the wazoo. Okay. And if you find short-range weapons, grab them too. The whole level is either outside in vehicles or in small hallways indoors. Another tip for people who don't have the famine skull yet, it's on a bridge about halfway through the level. This is a skull that you must be on Legendary for, even though he's not 100% sure if you can get it on Heroic. You'll, you'll know you're there when you get to the fork in the road. That damn fork in the road. Okay. <laughs> the left direction takes you to a fairly large room with rates and choppers and a bridge that leads to a door to go inside to the next level uh, area. Excuse me. The other leads to a reinforced. Uh, the other leads to reinforcements with tanks and hogs. After a ship, a uh, ship drops them off. On the way to the reinforcements, the bridge is right there. You've got to climb up and find it uh, in one of the angled pillars. You can blow yourself up into where it's at, meaning grenade jump, or take your time to get a ghost up there. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. Wow. I think, hmm, I'm trying to remember if I Maybe got it. Maybe he's talking right. about a banshee, or, because how could you get a ghost know. up there, I mean, if I'm thinking of the <laughs> same one? Hmm. Okay. And he says, that's all I got for this map, so keep fragging robot papayas that stick to your ceiling and eat your face while you sleep. Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> wow. And spit eggnog cartons at you. Yeah, I think I, I think I think he had some of that eggnog. It's like robo that robo fruit. <laughs> yeah, robo fruit. Dude, I'm telling you, man, those papayas are robotic. <laughs> I'm not joking. Wow, dude, man, have this have this eggnog. It'll make you see robot papayas. <laughs> it's good stuff, man. First I'm one's free. You, yeah. <laughs> you will be hooked. <laughs> oh, Just come man. back to me when you want more, right? <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Don't forget him, stand you, dude. Dude, that you know what? <laughs> RPG came from. That reminds me of um, of uh, RoboCop. You guys remember that movie? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Dude, that Definitely. was the craziest movie ever, man. Especially when they got to RoboCop. I'll buy too. that for a dollar. <laughs> I mean, it was just, it was like the most hilariously disgusting movie like you've ever seen, especially when oh, we got yeah, to the dude. second one. I mean, there's just, I mean, I remember there's this one part where there's like these kids, like after a Little League game, they go and like go to a pizza place and then they go and like hold up the pizza place with guns and like rob the <laughs> pizza place and like tie up the owner and everything and like, I think they like kicked him in the nuts and ran out or something like that. It's like, jeez. <laughs> And then oh, there was that. Uh, remember, there was that that dude that like got soaked in like um, in nuclear waste, and then got hit by a car. And he just like exploded like a water balloon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that? Remember that? And he's like, and he's walking in the middle of the street, and then blah. Yeah. Like, Whoa. It was just so over the top. It's almost like Kill Bill kind of thing, where they, you know, they just had like blood that sprays like a fire hose everywhere, and. You know, this is just, like, so <laughs> disgusting. It was just funny because it was, like, so over the top. <laughs> Crazy movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was definitely, uh, you know, quite the movie. But that, that phrase, I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah. That, I mean, to this day, I use it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Or uh, Ed 209, too. That thing was awesome, man. It's like they should have just, like, skipped the original Robocop and just, like, jumped right over to Ed 209 because that thing was so cool. It had like freaking mini guns on its arms and Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> My name is Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Put the weapon down. <laughs> it Do wasn't it there now. <laughs> wasn't it like a, a bunch of like uh I don't know, there there was like some peaceful situation and it was like you are a threat or something, it just started like mowing everybody down. Oh man, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. Crazy. And, and during the uh exhibition or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that Robocop 2 was crazy, man. That, that, with, the, with the serial killer, or he, they put his brain in there. <laughs> That's right, they put it in the, in the, the law enforcement robot's uh, uh, yep. chassis, obviously. That's mm -hmm. that's perfect fit. Serial killer, <laughs> law enforcement robot. <laughs> That's made in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Who thought that one uh, up? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I can't imagine why they didn't see that one coming. <laughs> 
Joe, you're fired. <laughs> what? What's the problem? Jeez. I thought it would be and a And as a matter fit. of fact, the guy from who played uh, Cole Hagen was in RoboCop 1. Oh, he was? Was he right? the I'll buy that for a dollar guy? No, nah, no, nah, that was like a show. Oh, okay. Like some cheesy game show they used to watch. And yeah. like, I'll buy that for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I didn't know Cole Hagen was in there. Hmm. Yeah, I swore. Either one or two. One of them he was in there. He's always a bad guy. Hmm. <laughs> okay, what, one quick last thing about Kohagen, speaking of which. Is, <laughs> we're just a tad bit off topic. <laughs> no thanks to me. But like, when, <laughs> when he, when, um, when uh, Richter comes in and he's like, uh, he, he's like, he goes, uh, but I thought, and he goes, who told you to think? I don't pay you enough to think. <laughs> It was just a classic ah. moment, dude. He just like smacked him down. He's like, "Shut up, fool! I'm the boss." <laughs> like we'll be home in time for cornflakes. <laughs> oh wow! Man. This is all over my head. Oh man! Yeah, yeah. And then, <laughs> Must and see then, total then, recall uh, and and be educated. Rick, and... Day, he comes and what do you want me to do with him? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Pleasure's all mine. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, kill him, and he has a smile on his face that looks like it could just like melt metal. <laughs> ah, it's like yeah. The mess is. You think this is the real Quaid? It is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the laughy ass. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, back to Halo Land here. Got one from Phoenix Fire three six zero three. It says, "Hey, Podtacular, have I have a way to get the famous goal? Actually, why don't we skip on past that and." Nah. Because we already talked about school. See, that's the thing. That's why I, I got to be, I should, I should. It's, it's like when you ask, when you say, are there any secrets in this level? And people send in the skull ones over and over. It's like, you only need to read that one once. You know, the rest of them, you can kind yeah. of layer on top of each other and they could still be useful. But the skull ones, you, once you find it, you find it. There's, it's not like you're going to find hope, it a different way later on. I hope you're happy, Fuma. You just crushed his heart. Nah. <laughs> Oh, I, we're on we're on pause. I'm not putting that on the show. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay. like, oh, Phoenix Fire says, "Oh, we're gonna skip this one." Yeah, this guy sucks. <laughs> Screw this guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, well, back to Halo. We got one from Richard Camacho here, who says at the beginning, a little while after you see the brutes. Before you fight the hunters, rip off a turret and only use them against the hunters. This will stop them in the tracks, and they can't move, and then they die. Uh, snipe the brutes at the beginning and stick them. Uh, make a lot of grunt headshots, and you will go fast on this level. This works good on legendary. A good way on killing the brutes is use a jackal plasma or a plasma pistol, and shoot them with a big green ball of death. Then, battle rifle them about 5 to 10 bullets, and they're dead. Don't snipe the grunts, they're easy to kill with a battle rifle. Uh, after when you uh, are about to go against the choppers, get the rocket launcher and don't waste it. Save one rocket, or a- at least uh, then when you're near the mongoose, give it to the marine and get the marine on the back of the mongoose. That's the ticket there because, you know, he gets unlimited ammo. Uh, the marine will have everlasting ammo, like I was saying, and they have amazing aim. So you can be driving around killing all those choppers. Man, that is easy. <laughs> don't let the marines go away uh, with your rocket launcher marine. I had to start uh, to the checkpoint over because the Marines did not want uh, what I wanted them to do. Uh, you should have the sniper right. Uh, let's see. You should have the sniper. Anyway, when you get the the race, use the mongoose and the Marine with the rockets, and it will be easy. Snipe everything on the shades. Anyway, uh, that's too long, but yeah, so keep on killing pals in Halo and Fumo start playing a harder level in campaign, or else I bet my ah. pet could do better. Oh, Oh, hey. <laughs> so this is Richard reporting from Ecuador. Oh, welcome from Ecuador. Nice. Cool. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. Good stuff. All right. Phyronius says, Hi, this is Phyronius. Uh, first time poster with a lot of potential. All right. In this, level, in this level, there are two skulls and some terminals. To get to the terminal... Terminals. Oh, that's <laughs> such a tough word for me for some reason. I don't know why. All you have to do is find one and press X. I haven't found them... All myself, but I know they look like computers mixed with oracles. One of them, one of them, you pass while following Guilty Spark. Approach and press X. Uh, I think it's uh, actually the right button, the right bumper. So, uh, if you find all, if you find all in the in the game, you get a secret achievement. Yay, gamer score! But that requires some work. 
Uh, uh, it goes on to talk about the scarab. To majorly uh, pwn the scarab, you can either get a chopper when it is by the middle building, pictured as a giant ramp in a huge BMX show. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and this, yeah, that's a it's a new one. And the scarab a BMX ramp. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, scarab is on the other side. Getting any ideas? Boost yeah, in midair yeah, yeah. to get onto the scarab. <laughs> I'm like, but if you're lazy, you, like take a mongoose up there and then just like spin the whole mongoose around underneath <laughs> you like a couple times and then like do yeah. a freaking big twist in the air. Go on to both back tires. Well, there's actually a certain button combination. Um, you have to press the guide button for three seconds, and then press up and then A, and then you get like the secret achievement, and you get all scared. It's really cool. Oh, nice! You can can you like put your yeah. toes on it and like do Superman? Ah! There's all these like pictures oh. flashing and everything. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking too much. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but if you're lazy and instead of doing that, you just kick the poor helpless marine out of their scorpion tank, and you. And then you saw the scarab and had a flashback on the scarab tank action in Halo 2. Don't worry. Just drive around the back and shoot that scarab anus armor off. Literally. Blast Aww. that baby's butt off till its little glowing power cell is exposed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> and then shoot one last time and then boom, you win. But wow. Make sure you grab one more grab lift from the central building, a.k.a. ramp, uh, and hold on to that puppy for dear high boost of armor because you'll need it. Uh, I think he goes on here to get the skull, so I'll just kind of. And we've already picked. Uh, yeah, you gotta read his. Uh... Talked about that. <laughs> There's a. Uh... All right, keep on fragging, or keep on resisting the blivital messages Fumo sends in the podcast about fragging the midgets hiding in the backs of trucks. <laughs> I think by blivital he means subliminal. <laughs> you know, uh... If I. If I... If I play this podcast backward, am I going to be possessed? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh, if I went to a psychiatrist, he would say that you secretly hate midgets for some reason. Ah, frag <laughs> midgets in the back of the truck. No, I, I have no problem with midgets. It's just when they're in the back of a truck. <laughs> yeah, I just can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> they're just oh. so small. Oh. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> You see what you've done, Fumo? <laughs> oh, you're bringing up bad memories. <laughs> you got Frubin from Christian Gamer making fun of midgets. Oh, <laughs> you oh. joined the the um, unintentional midget haters gang. You've corrupted me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Fumo does not actually hate midgets. <laughs> ah. <laughs> These opinions are solely on Fumo Jar. No, they're not. <laughs> not the views of Pateko. <laughs> Dang it, I don't or hate midgets for the last members. time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go to a, another submission here by, and this is the actual name, the Mexican. Hey, what's up? This is one of my favorite levels of the game, and the first level that I got meta, the meta game achievement score. Or meta game score achievement, whatever. The main difference between this level and the others is that instead of needing 15,000 points, you need 50. Wow, 50,000 points. But that is not hard to do because of all the vehicles and the scarab that you will ultimately ultimately kill in this level. I will give a tip on the scarab part because it is one of my favorite parts. Once you get in the tank, okay, once you get in the tank, after you turn on the bridge, go out and make uh, make sure you kill all the wraiths. This should be about three, four. Watch out for the brute with the fuel rod gun, and he's does this. He says it's all in capital, so it's very important that you watch out for that guy. He will, <laughs> he will take out the tank quicker than Wraith. Uh, after you clear, after you clear out all the anti-armor guys, then you need to drive up the uh, large ramp right in front of where the scarab lands. If you do this right when it lands, it will just, uh, it will just keep walking into the ramp. And it will only hit you a few times from its top gun, but not the main cannon on the on the head. Uh, it will not be able to reach you. After this, you can do one of two things: either jump onto the scarab from the side of the ramp and kill your way to the back of uh, to the back and take it down, or option two: try to take it down with the tank from the top of the ramp, or at least clear the brutes off the top uh, of the scarab. Either way works just as good, but I like to clear the way with the tank first and then jump on. On this level while I was uh while I was had am uh camo. Okay, while I had I'm assuming he says while he had camo. I came across the brute peeing on the wall. 
You hear it peeing, and then it shakes it off and growls. Hmm, must have been uh, holding it for a while. <laughs> then, I then just kill them by hitting them in the back. <laughs> I probably should have waited for him to finish, but I was laughing too hard. <laughs> Please let him zip it I up, man. Don't make him like turn right around. What? Oh, oh, oh. oh hang on a sec. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it got stuck! Get, new... oh. Get a man feel... while he's peeing. I feel a new armor permutation joke coming on. Oh! oh. <laughs> Way to go, guys. Keep on fragging the stuff. The guy before me fragged. And then he goes, P.S. I saw Nanny on a rocket ship heading to Uranus. <laughs> so he could visit the Anus Armor Factory to pitch his new line of designing Anus Armor made from emu feathers, green alpaca fur, and super uranus, <laughs> super uranus titanium. <laughs> Green wow. back of her. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is the ultimate anus armor, man. Wow. Dude, I just, wow. I just, got, I just got this anus armor straight from Uranus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It has emu feathers on it, man. Check it out. <laughs> Dude, is that the one with the alpaca? Oh, nice. oh That's a limited oh, edition, dude. man. Oh. <laughs> dang. And it's autographed by P. Diddy. Oh, so lucky. <laughs> Paris Hilton wears anus armor. How you do you feel, too. Paris? It's hot. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Paris Hilton. <laughs> Oh, wow. man. Sounds just like that, was that was good. That was good. <laughs> uh, let's see. We are on to AZN Dude 1, who says, first thing. Asian. <laughs> okay. Asian. Arizona N Dude 1. First thing. <laughs> okay, first thing. When doing this level, never turn on the tilt skull. It's the beginning of this level is all sniping, and tilt just makes it harder. In the beginning, there's also three sleeping grunts. Oh, wait. Before we move on. Can you guys explain to me what Tilt Skull is? Um, it actually, uh, well, certain enemies are immune to certain weapons, and like, um, not immune, just takes a lot more to kill them. Like uh -huh. a BR might might be more effective on a like a a brute, but it could like do nothing to a grunt, like something ridiculous like that. Oh man, so you gotta like sit there and remember which weapon is used for which enemy. And yeah. Or, it's like uh, Bioshock. Huh. <laughs> okay. All right, so, yeah, um, we said in the beginning there's also three sleeping grunts at the bottom of the cliff. Second, when you get to the crash pelican site, there's a rocket in the ruins. Kill all the brutes and grunts, and before the prowlers show up, grab it and use it, uh, use all of it, except for one shot. Oh, okay, I know where we're going with this. Then just take out the prowlers with the plasma pistols, grenades. Give the rocket to a marine, of course, and have him either get on the back of the mongoose uh, you drive or ride in the prowler you choose to take. Doesn't matter. A marine with a rocket is deadly because he has infinite ammo. If he happens to die, get a chopper. That will come in handy. When you get to the part before you get to the scorpion tank, there is a wraith. Stay in the cave and fire at the wraith with a chopper or ghost. Don't let it hit you with its blast. Eventually the wraith will die and you can get the warthog near that area if you still have some marines. Then just board the anti-air wraiths, kill them, don't take them, then find some cover. Once the dropship comes with the tanks, stuff will fly everywhere from the wind it makes. Pieces of anus armor, nene, and bag of stuff will take down at least half your shield. <laughs> if it happens to scrape your armpit hair. <laughs> nice. Or alpaca fur. <laughs> then get in the scorpion tank and pwn ghost hunter and everything. The marine says that. It should be uh, fairly simple. Just watch out for wraiths, shade turrets, and the two fuel rod brutes. Once you get inside, go up the walkway in front of you, and you can find some stuff you might need. It's pretty simple inside. Uh, you will soon be able to get outside. <laughs> okay. Uh, get in either a tank or a goss warthog and pwn some nubs. Then the scarab comes. I would use a goss warthog and drive around underneath the scarab and have the gunner shoot its legs until you can get inside it. Don't try and drive a vehicle to go up to the building. It's pointless. Just take out the annoying jackals, grunts, and brutes. Fight your way in until you activate the cartographer. Then fight your way down, watching for active camel brutes with fire grenades. Pick up a cloak, uh, a cloaking device, and keep going until you get to the bottom level. Kill as many brutes as you can, but when the hammer gorilla starts getting closer to you, activate the cloak and hope you can sneak around and assassinate him. Oh, that's a good idea. 
Uh, if not, then just throw some fire grenades and hope for the best. Pick up his invincibility and go through the rest of the level. That's it. The Ark is one of my most favoritest, favoritest, bestest, coolest levels, mainly because of the tank. The Covenant is probably my most favorite because of the Hornets and getting uh, to use the anti-air wraith a lot, and using a splazer to pwn hunters. We'll keep on fragging cheese-filled cupcakes. All right. <laughs> we'll do. Cupcakes. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yum. Uh, Midnight says, the, de- the definition of bombard is when someone dedicates themselves to removal of heavy armor. There's only one right way to do this. Either use a Spartan laser, rocket launcher, or both to, s- to sit somewhere high, but partially protected sh- to, shields- to shield yourself from tanks. Intermittently shoot at large, cumbersome vehicles like the elephant. I don't think there's an elephant in this level, but... Hmm. Like the elephant. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Okay. And do some good and do some good damage with it, and then sit for a moment before doing it again. This will irritate the driver and make them come towards you. And would you wait until they're directly beneath you, jump down, hijack their vehicle, and drive off? Or you can just hit you can just hit lighter vehicles uh, for a one-hit kill. Bombard bombards bombards only work effectively on Stantrap and Valhalla ah, that's maps that do not have. Player here. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, I'll finish it off here. Uh, vehicles do not support this strategy. If if irritation does not get them to to turn, simply destroy the vehicle. And if anyone else tries to escape, get to high covered locations, right on top of someone else's banshee, and then jump off at the right moment. In Valhalla, on the in Valhalla, on the tippy top of their base, in sand trap, in sand traps at the very peak of the sandry structure, or just find a way, find an out of way place to hi- to hide and fire from. But do not stay there for long, or you have been spotted. Next week, Gravity Hammers and you. Wow. Okay. Well, that Wrong was episode. snuck in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, is that how he ends it? Gravity uh, Hammers and you? Gravity nice. Hammers yeah. and you. Gravity <laughs> Hammers and like you. Sounds like a, sounds like a, a sitcom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or like that, or like that uh, children's book, Everyone Poops. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Gravity uh, Hammers and you, yeah. Everyone Poops. <laughs> Same difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can see the resemblance. Uh, no. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go to... Uh, uh, going to go to Zomaga26. <laughs> Zo, uh, Z-O-M-G. Zomga26. Hey, Patek, you literally Zomga26. <laughs> with some tips for the, for the awesome level that is the Ark. This is my... This is in my top five favorite campaign levels. And there's always a blast to play through. Anyway, on the t- on to the tips. During the first sniper battle, if you're playing on Legendary, there will be a small group of grunts that will own you and your ODST buddies time and time again if you're not careful. Usually one of the grunts will do a suicide charge that will, even if you survive, wipe out your entire marine force. Just be ready to switch to your BR for some quick headshots to deal with them. Later... After you've cleared out the Covenant Force potent, uh, position around the crashed Pelican, make sure to salvage through the wreckage to find the rocket launcher, which will easily own the prowlers and some of the choppers over the hill. It says, keep on the uh, keep up the amazing work. Keep on fragging monkeys. Z- uh, Zomg, Zomg, twenty-six. The way you said Zomg, Zomg. It made me think of uh, like Shamon. <laughs> <laughs> Zamga. <laughs> Sounds like a wild uh, Samoan wrestler or something like that. <laughs> the island of Fiji. Zamga. Wild Samoan wrestler going <laughs> Samoan. <laughs> Samoan wrestler is not my lover. <laughs> Samanga. Oh, yeah. It's got to be like a Lucha Libre fighter. Because <laughs> <laughs> there, there is a guy named Manga, and yeah. he had Kamala, who used to smack his belly. <laughs> so, Dude, that would be a pretty <laughs> rough thing if that's like what you're known for is smacking your belly. <laughs> <laughs> he used to, be, oh, he used to go, and then he smack his belly. <laughs> So yeah, that was his legacy. Wow. Dang. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, 
I am not only knowledgeable in video <gasps> games, I am knowledgeable in oh. pointless wrestling. <laughs> Billy smacking. <laughs> Billy smacking wrestlers. <laughs> Especially well, George the Animal Steel. Uh, even though that was my favorite. What did he do? He used to just go, you! Hey. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That's all I used to do. <laughs> These Bikes guys like need to find some better like things that well, are unique to them. You know what I'm though, saying? Right? <laughs> Smack in the belly and you. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> His name was George the Animal Steel. He used to bite the turnbuckles. He had a green tongue. Dang. I can see how that can intimidate people. Wow. And he was like a freaking professor and, and a college professor or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's real scary. Man, I would be... Yeah, I'd be and, highly and, intimidated uh, by that. Who was the other guy? Oh, the missing link. The missing link. Oh, yeah. He didn't say anything. <laughs> he just jumped around and stuff. Did, was he, like, oh, always yeah, missing? Had... <laughs> <laughs> missing link, where is he? Where, where uh, is that guy? Oh, <laughs> he's missing again. <laughs> he, too, had a green tongue. Wow, they all had green tongues. Whoa. Is it, like, the green tongue gang or something like that? Yeah, man. <laughs> With your tag they team, eating, like they were eating something <laughs> that was green. I don't want to know why. Alpaca feathers. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, nice, cool, man. Okay, so on to let's let's do it. Rouge one nineteen who says, "Hey, Pod Hackender." Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Rouge one nineteen here with a gothic tip for the arc. Uh, this Ooh, is the level. Gothic. <laughs> with a goth tip for the arc. <laughs> now we need an emo tip. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> okay, Everything in this level, level is really so dark long. and sad and <laughs> frustrating. Just All right. So when you start the level, look straight down and then throw a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> you should die, which is the goal of the game. Game over. <laughs> Life sucks. <laughs> emo three. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Okay, well, he said... <laughs> Your gothic friend. <laughs> he says, this is the level where, in my opinion, is uh, the most has the most annoying skulls to get. The first one is the famine skull. Actually, we will skip past the skulls part, but we'll take your gothic part and leave it at that. Um, he does say keep on strapping TNT to one-legged rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Alrighty, then. Really? Zangor, Zangor13 says... Hey, Podtacular, I have a funny secret for the Ark. After defeating the Scarab, you go into a building until you get to the hallway where the walls are made of glass and there's a ramp leading down. After entering the room with sleeping grunts, uh, assassinate or sneak past them. In the corner near the door, you will see a brute taking a whiz. Thanks for listening and hope you enjoy. Keep on customizing your anus armor. <laughs> this anus armor oh, thing's really man. been catching on. Yeah, man. Hmm. I just customized mine with... Uh... With a scorpion. Uh, <laughs> Encased in carbonites. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. We got to go a little bit off topic because I just want to say that that tie, man. That tie. <laughs> man, I'm going to dream of uh, only one. <laughs> I had the greatest Actually... tie. <laughs> you, should, you should mention. I don't know if you're going to... Put it on the bloopers, or you want to mention it now? I, I might. Man, I might. It's, it's it's legendary. <laughs> it is. It is. I had oh, the ultimate no bolo tie. So suave. Yeah. <laughs> might be. Able to I actually, it uh, I actually put a squirrel in my anus armor. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I I put a squirrel tail in the back of my. <laughs> <laughs> Swishes back and forth as you run. It's yeah, nice. yeah, as I'm jogging the beach. <laughs> That's intimidating, man. That's like the. Uh... In, sl in slow motion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's like the guy that smacked his belly. Ooh, that freaks me out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like Kamala. <laughs> I run the other way as fast as I can. Oh. I don't know what oh. I'd do if I saw JVB running at me with a squirrel tail in slow motion. <laughs> At least it's in the back, not in the front. Probably have like reindeer <laughs> horns in your head and everything too. <laughs> He's like firing at you and you just fall on the floor laughing. <laughs> He's like, ah! <laughs> <It's> like, ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> so funny. Oh, like, oh, the guy switched my stuff again. <laughs> I'm a squirrel ranger coming to kill you. <laughs> I'm a rabbit reindeer. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm smacking my belly at the same time. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. And by the way, your pa- your belly's painted purple. Oh. Yes, it is naturally. <laughs> that, that's just a. That's not actual paint. That's bruises from smacking. It. You know what? There was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> There was a lot of like <laughs> pro wrestlers that that's all they ever like that's their claim to fame was the was they said ooh like um ah. like the bushwhackers they did that but in like a yeah, slight yeah, yeah. variation they did oh or something like yeah, that and all then they there did was, was like do a dumb funny walk and yeah like move their arms up in the air and then there was hacksaw Jim Duggan and he just had a two by four and did the same thing oh and then oh. there was Ultimate Warrior and he just went oh and, like put both his hands in the air and that stuff tied around his biceps yeah and then shook the, the top the top rope. Yeah, that's right. Oh. <laughs> and then when he talked, he'd be like, he, 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 he started talking, and he'd be like, My warriors, the sun is going down upon us. He's like, What is he saying? <laughs> <laughs> he looked like he was just going to spontaneously explode any second, man. <laughs> Together with my warriors. <laughs> Remember you to do that? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. Hmm. Man, we know too much wrestling. <laughs> and they, they had that makeup that like probably glowed in the dark and stuff. That was weird. <laughs> it's like, is he supposed to be from the Amazon or from some freaky 80s club, you know? <laughs> He was like some rock from some new wave band in Europe. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Alphaville. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Forever. Oh. <laughs> I'm a wrestler. Aww. Oh. <laughs> I guess that's why Hulk Hogan made so much money because he actually spoke. <laughs> yeah, you can understand what he was man. saying. Oh, look at this. A wrestler we can understand. Let's interview him. Because even Andre the Giant, you can't understand. Oh yeah, man. Okay, I'm gonna wrestle you, and then I'm gonna. I'm gonna destroy Hogan. <laughs> you sound like a. Uh, no, anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't his fault. So it's like. No, I know he was French. I it mean, you know, dark. not against French, but you know, he had an accent. He was. From he was also Canadian. Oh, French. Yeah, Canadian. right. He was French Canadian. Yeah, yeah, not yeah, French. There you French. Go. <laughs> he was a French friend, but he was French Canadian. See the difference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was French Yugoslavian. That, that's, that's, that's all. Uh, that's all Canada's got right there is uh, Celine Dion and Andre the Giant. Oh. <laughs> nice. You guys are famous they forever. Been a great duet. <laughs> <laughs> At the time of my life. Oh wait, I'm doing all this tossing here again. <laughs> I can't shake him. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna do Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I'm a source nigga, dude. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, do Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> beat it. Song. <laughs> <laughs> Just beat it. <laughs> oh, Fuma, was it you? No, it was Paris, man. He called me up and he's like, thanks to you, I could never watch another. Arnold Schwarzenegger movie because every time he says one of his freaking catchphrases, I picture you. <laughs> so he's talking about Terminator 2. Yeah. And when he was like, I wish you could cry. <laughs> <laughs> he's like cracking up, and then the kids tell him not to kill nobody. He goes, Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I said so. <laughs> I swear I will I not kill anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I still love the baby. Yeah, yeah no, it, it's uh, it, it's funny. He's not the first person to tell me that, and even when I watch him now, yeah, I laugh. Like especially Total Recall and Predator. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Running Man, dude. Oh yeah, that has so many of those things. It's like it's like a James Bond movie, but like, and that was purposely cheesy. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean that with, with Jesse Ventura. 
That was yeah. purposely cheesy. Anyway. <laughs> it's a great movie. Anyway, I guess. Uh, where, where were we again? <laughs> we keep doing we're on this. a ah. crash course. Maybe we're near the end. I think we are. Let's do one or two more and wrap this puppy up here. Okay. <laughs> hey, Fumo. So who's up? Uh, I believe I am. Yeah. Yep. Do it. Okay. I'm going to do this for now, and everybody's going to like it. <laughs> okay, here goes. Or else. We've got a Jack to kill. Okay, Jack kill. <laughs> Jack to kill. Hey, guys. Jack to kill here. Here's some tips for that arc. For the arc. Sorry. Number one, once you arrive in the room with all the sleeping grunts, there is a brute in the corner, and he's actually peeing. Okay. We, we, we uh, talked about that one, the peeing uh, brute. <laughs> okay. Then, number two, once you destroy the scarab, go inside the structure in the middle, and there are some grab lifts. Grab one, and once you arrive in a room where you walk down a glass ramp, throw a grab lift on the ramp, and run towards it, and go in it, and you should fly towards a small platform and try to... Okay, and try to get to the top. The cowbell skull is up there, okay? We oh, that'll help. That. Sorry about that. Yes, definitely. Uh, they didn't mention uh, in the previous submission about the cowbell. They didn't mention about running and stuff like that. Grab so. and stuff, yeah. And number three. Once Guilty Sparks go in, goes into the small room with a terminal, shoot him. He will respawn. You're pissing me off. Oh, my. I didn't know I had a cursing. I had cursing in my vocabulary, in my vocal structure. I'm making stuff up here. <laughs> Although you may have uh, to uh, have the... Uh, I W H B Y D skull on. You might not. So there's a question there. I never actually tried this one. So for those who are more knowledgeable than I am, please correct us. And he says, "Thanks, guys. Doing such a great service to all the Halo fans out there. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Keep on fragging, Kung Fu, <laughs> Kung Fu mode, JVB. <laughs> Don't grenade spam." <laughs> 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 so you're Kung Fu Mo. I guess I am. <laughs> nice, nice. No, 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 no. It's uh, Fumo is Kung Fu, is Kung Fu, and then JVB is Mo JVB. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Kung Fu. My name is Mo JVB. <laughs> we I like are. it. I like it. <laughs> Har. Anyway, it's like, um, geez, that movie with Jackie Chan and uh, and Chris uh, Tucker. Tucker. <laughs> Rush hour. Uh, rush hour. Can't even remember rush hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jackie yeah. Chan, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jackie Chan, the movie. Yeah, yeah, that one. Which do you one? Understand, <laughs> do you understand the words that come out of my mouth? Do you understand, <laughs> do you understand the, the words that come out of my mouth? Remember he's in Hong Kong and he's like, he's like, ma'am, put the chicken down. I'm LAPD. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, those are pretty good. Great. All these movies we recommend. No doubt. No diggity. <laughs> <laughs> no diggity doubt, diggity. Dun, 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 dun. Shamona. <laughs> I like the way you walk in. No diggity. You blab, Jerry B. You blab about Mars. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do you want, Quay? I want to be me again. I want to live. <laughs> Dang it! I want to, I want to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Open your mind. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Open your mind, Quay. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My bad, Quaid. <laughs> I had fajitas for breakfast. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, wow. They were quite delicious. <laughs> I should have asked for black beans instead of beans. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh well. Okay. Well, let's wrap this up with uh, one from with one from Shotgun Friendly. <laughs> he says, "Oh man! Oh boy! This is one of the most amazing single-player maps of all time in Halo history in the universe." Oh. Wait, I haven't introduced myself yet. I am Lord Shotgun Friendly, the friendliest shotgun. You'll ever know. Please do this in a British accent. A little late there. Aww. <laughs> Too late. 
<laughs> anyway, no. back to the Ark the Ark is really an amazing mission. <laughs> Wait. Cut to... Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's going to echo in my dreams now, man. Are you going to wake up? Quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 sorry, Quayo. Uh, uh, I'm opening my mind. I'm opening it. <laughs> <laughs> my beat. <laughs> That's the ancient alien structures. Uh, uh. Uh, fajitas. <laughs> it smells like fajitas. <laughs> you gotta ask your wife, honey, are you cooking fajitas? No. What are you talking about? It's three in the morning. Oh, okay. I kind of swore you were. And then she's gonna turn around and go, why? What's wrong? Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> She lifts up her hands and has like two fingers in a thumb. Oh. <laughs> For those that have not seen Total Recall, Mr. Uh, Frobin. I mean, Fro oh, 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 see, there's a story behind that. Okay. People seem to, uh, well, I played uh, with Lana once and from Sarcastic Gamer, and he's yeah. like, hey, Frobin, get in there. And I'm like, uh, hey, it's Frobin. He's like, I don't care, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> and then whenever I do something wrong, he always seems to, like, uh, extenuate whenever he says my name. It's like, hey, Frobin. Nah. <laughs> yeah, that's Lano, right? Yeah, yeah well, Lono. Lano, Lono. And so on. So that, it's Lano. Yeah, I don't we were playing care. With, Get in uh, there. <laughs> so then we were, we were playing with uh, Lano and Dave and Doc. I think I think everyone was in there. And I said, okay, Luno. And then everyone just cracks up. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. No, but so, yeah. seriously, um, you 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 guys will understand why we just constantly bring up some of the most classic one-liners you will ever definitely hear in a movie. And every time you hear someone say two weeks, you'll crack up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Definitely. Well, it will I, I can never look at the <laughs> like you never look at a squirrel the same way. Ah, yeah, that's right. You'll never yep. look at a squirrel the same way. <laughs> You'll see a squirrel eating nuts in the field, and you go, <laughs> he would make a nice belt. <laughs> I can yeah. use that tail on my on my rear here. Oh, my anus armor. It would look fabulous. Uh, <laughs> that would be good uh, battle dress uniform there. <laughs> you go on a first date, and you're like, honey, well, that squirrel will look fantastic on your rear end. Excuse me? <laughs> What? You don't listen to Pontago? Come <laughs> on, everyone does. You what do you think you of my hair? Well, well, it would look a little better with reindeer, uh, <laughs> reindeer horns on it. <laughs> Maybe slap your belly a bit. <laughs> slap your belly, baby, and just go... <laughs> Come on, just once. <laughs> Um, oh man <laughs> scream like a yeti come on <laughs> come on yeah honey. i, I kind of feel bad it's for time to go <laughs> to chili's we're going out on a date right now <laughs> <laughs> well if they're anything like me they uh they don't know what any of these movies are talking oh, about so <laughs> <laughs> i know you start talking like the ultimate warrior <laughs> yeah <laughs> call her up on a you know my name is my name is Hot Peter. And we're going to make it days. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This will yeah. become a weird well, episode. Shotgun, unfortunately, <laughs> um, we are going to get to your um, 17 different points yeah. here. Thank you for sending it and in. I just want to say the shotgun friendly one thing. Uh, and, and sorry we couldn't read your submission, but I know it was you that brought Nene into uh, the Potacular universe. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> Damn you. Bad. Because we're going to name our second child Nene. <laughs> <laughs> Nene VB. <laughs> oh, oh, Nene VB. That's a nice ring to it. Yeah. JVB and Navy B. Nene, come here. <laughs> Nene Jive. No, oh, Nene Jive. <laughs> <laughs> Nene, it's time for dinner. <laughs> Okay, Mom. <laughs> I'm going to wash my hands. 
Oh man, this has become <laughs> crazy. Uh, okay, we'll wrap it up. The crazy episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, man. We're all all far. We're working. all over the place. Send in your comments to center to podtacker at gmail dot com. We depend on your submissions to keep the show going. Keep an eye on podtacker dot com for an invitation to send in stuff for next week's show. And speaking of sending in stuff. Sorry to all the other people as well that we couldn't get to around to reading your uh, submissions because we were too busy talking about slapping bellies and uh, <laughs> and wrestlers and, and uh, yeah, you know. But that's just I'm the sorry. way Potacular is. Emu feathers. Yes, we're very unpredictable. <laughs> but keep but sending it. That doesn't that doesn't mean you cannot call our listener voicemail at two zero six eight 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 Halo. That's two zero six eight 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 Halo. Leave a Halo related message. We play these back regularly. On the Collins and Tales from the Foxhole Show. Be sure to check us out at podtacular.com, and while you're there, check out the forums. There's a lot of events, projects, and ways to make new friends and play Halo with cool people. Thanks to all the people that contribute to Podtacular, whether it's working on the community or site, contributing to our PayPal to help out with the hosting bill, digging the podcast on dig.com, or subscribing to the show and reviewing us in iTunes. We couldn't do it without you guys. And check out the other shows in the GaberCast Network at GamerCastNetwork.com, which has been uh, newly designed, by the way. Yeah, Very convenient really great. for all our, our listeners. You can find there Gamertag Radio, Uncle Gamer Radio, Sarcastic Gamer, Achievement Junkie, the, uh, the, the GamerCast Network's very own video game show, and uh, me, JVB, uh, hosting a new show called The Post Game Report at TalkingAboutGames.com. Make sure you go and check everybody out, please. Yeah, they have a cool um, player there over at GamerCastNetwork.com on the right side. Mm -hmm. They have, like, all of the shows merged into kind of one list that, Mm -hmm. as in a Flash player. So you can just hit play, and it just starts playing through all the GamerCast Network's latest shows. So that's kind of a cool thing to catch up on. Absolutely. And don't be surprised if you see a certain name pop up in there, too. (laughs) Okay. <laughs> like, Did you really like choking on a squirrel or something? No, no, I'm not the storm. <laughs> oh man! With his bucket of this disposable squirrels. <laughs> that's a that long a story. <laughs> we'll not get into that one. Well, until yeah. next time, I'm Fumo Jive. <laughs> oh, I'm driving me. Okay, I'm driving <laughs> And I'm Sog Fruin. And once again, thank you for joining us. And why don't you let everybody know once again where we can find you? Uh, HardcoreChristianGamer.com Awesome. Sweet. What's the name of the podcast? Uh, the Hardcore Christian Gamer Cast. And the name of the clan. <laughs> <laughs> Sons of God, SOG. There you go. And the yeah. name of your favorite movie that you haven't watched yet. Total <laughs> <laughs> oh. <Startle> Recall. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Come on, man. Open Actually, your I... mind. <laughs> Open your mind. <laughs> no, I'm not going to oh. watch it. Oh, you better. I got five kids to feed. <laughs> what happened to oh, the six? The best is... <laughs> hey, Benny. Screw you. <laughs> that is the best. <laughs> <best. laughs> Yeah, you, anytime someone says screw you, you'll never you'll never think of it the same again, man. <laughs> he has this freaking power tool. Hydraulic screw. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> he's, like yeah. he's like, he's like, he's like drilling through the side of this vehicle, and the guy's just like, you know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh man, let's get this.
There's only one thing left to say. Or, or Tony in the in the um, in the that bar on Mars where he where he's oh, like, yeah, got yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. of nerves showing your face around here, Quaid. <laughs> Look who's talking. <laughs> <laughs> that was Great. awesome. Man. You had a blab, Quaid. You had to go to week off. <laughs> you blab, Quaid. You blabbed about Mars. Like <laughs> <laughs> good Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tacula, the unofficial other movie podcast. <laughs> unofficial Total Recall podcast. It totally is, man. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Hear what the Total Recall Nation is saying about Pontega. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard of Recall? Uh, yeah. Recall. Recall. Honey, you don't want to go there. I had a friend go there and really got himself lobotomized. Stay away from it, man. I'm telling you. I want to go to Recall. <laughs> 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 Dude, that Down. works so perfectly, man. There must be spies or something. Come on, baby. You don't need to go to my dreams. Uh, <laughs> you don't need to go to my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Consider that not the ball. <laughs> I was waiting for that one, dude. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what show are we doing again? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we definitely <laughs> got to put you on the geek out when uh, we finally do that. Uh, uh, me, Paris, and Jay. Okay, now just jam it into your skull and, and just yank really hard. It's going to hurt a little bit. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're just, like pulling that. Noise <laughs> 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 you know, he makes on that is hilarious. <laughs> He's like pulling this. Uh, <laughs> Like tracking device out of his skull. What you doing? <laughs> Help, I don't have any air! Ah, ah. <laughs> 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 You're not recording yet, are you? I'm fucking out! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love that sound he makes when, he free, when he's rolling down the mountain and he gets to the bottom. He's like... Ah, ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 exactly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that sounds like Cole Hagen. It does. <laughs> Joking and then there's the Schwartz joking, man. <laughs> and then the girl like, <laughs> she just kind of like halfway screams like a frog kind of thing. Dude, she's like, <laughs> I'm like, whoa. This week on the GamerCast Network. This week, the Gamertag Radio staff podcast live from the Major League Baseball 2K8 video game tournament in Miami, Florida. What will they have to say about this year's MLB 2K8 game? Listen to episode number 136 for all the details. Should the battle prowess of the Finns be feared? One listener thinks so. Find out the details in episode 80 of the video game show. Boost your gamer score with the latest tips from Achievement Junkie. Tune into Podtacular for the biggest stories in the unofficial Halo universe. Does the game always have to innovate? The kids at Uncle Gamer discuss that very topic this week. This week on Sarcastic Gamer, Doc, Dave, and Lotto are excited about the new Undertow expansion and what would Call of Duty 4 be like if it was an MMO? Tune in for details. Discover the website that brings you all these great episodes and headlines at GamerCastNetwork.com. 